Billy and I actually go way back um, before Lolita Complex and Kitty in a Casket were in a band together and we toured uh, Mexico. We played the uh, Vigite in Leipzig. Um, and when it came to writing the new album, I was thinking about who would I want to give input. So I asked him if he'd be interested. And since um, uh, Kitty and Casket at the moment has a creative pause and he was available, over the course of just a few weeks, I traveled back and forth. We recorded um, four demos together, which kind of laid the foundation of the, n the new album and the way we wanted the album to sound. Which is not a repetition of what we did before, but it's like some a, a consequence, a, an evolution of the sound we were going for. Kitty in a Casket and Lolita Complex actually started roughly at the same time and actually in the beginning we were, we were talking of, of working together right from the beginning but then we went kind of separate ways and did our own thing in our own style but yeah we crossed paths quite a couple of times and um, we all always followed each other's careers and I was singing on their album Kitty was obviously singing on our EP so this is kind of a logical consequence that it, at, at some point it had to come to this. A couple of years ago, Billy and I actually performed as a, a Ramones and Misfits band for one night, which was fun. And uh, for Kitty in a Casket fans, let's say old school fans, might also be interesting that Mark Van Dark, who was one of their founding members, I believe, he also contributed to our new album. He played bass on one of the songs because we did a couple of rehearsals together we had kind of this rockabilly project we wanted to do but as he moved away and i moved away it never really happened 